So today we're taking a look at the Atlas Master HO Scale 64 foot Trinity Reefer and this one is the Tropicana. Alright so let's start here from the front. We have the AC unit right there and we got some text and the text is actually legible. It's in green. It says carry here. There's a little logo and it apparently is a satellite controlled unit. Also some nice vent details. Molded on detailing with the wiring down there and some railings for the walkway. A little box here and a yellow coupler cut lever. On the side we have some grab irons to climb up as well as the front there is grab irons as well. And an air brake hose at the bottom which is actually bent so I'll fix that later. The walkway is also photo etched so it is see through. Alright so now here on the side we've got the fuel tank down here to power the AC. The Tropicana logo. The road reporting mark. t picks and 3244. Plate E, lots of information down here. And over here we got the orange with a straw and this is the Tropicana Orange Juice Company logo. Some more details down here. The FRA striping down at the bottom. Now let's move further down the car. Here we got the doorway. It is nicely detailed with some tiny printed text. And the bottom there's a stirrup step. And there also is some details for the locks. There also are some railings on the side for the door to slide through. And then here in the back we've got some more details on the side. Very faint line marks and some printed elements down the bottom. And also at the top. It is very small but it is legible up close. In this corner we have a ladder here on the side. On the top right corner we have the unit number, some little printed text here in the middle, a brake wheel, as well as some ladders on the sides, some more details at the bottom. There also is this walkway platform which is actually see-through as well. And here's a view of it from the other side. It's pretty much the same thing, just built in reverse. The roof is slightly curved. It has a lot of corrugation in the front. Here's what the AC looks like. And here's what it looks like on the bottom, the piping for the air brake system. And one interesting thing I noticed was this pipe is actually not connected to anything, so it kind of just hangs loosely. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at the Union Pacific version of it, the Armin. Alright, so starting here from the front, there is some blue markings here at the top. On both sides, we got the AC unit here, as well as this black platform and tank. There also is some really tiny text here, which you can actually read as well. And next to that, we got this little vent box detail. On the top of the AC, we got the carrier logo, and there also is a little bit of interior detail, and this pipe actually sticks out. Alright, so here's what it looks like on the side. You can see that black fuel tank to power the AC. And Armin stands for American Refrigerator Transit Company. Lots of printed details. And moving on to the middle where the doorway is. There's lots of tiny text and diagrams. I needed my zoom lens to show you guys all of this. You can also see the molded on details as well. Alright, so moving towards the back of the car. Here we got that Union Pacific logo. It says Building America, their slogan. And at the bottom we have some blue painted bearing caps, which is cool. As well as the reporting mark right there. Alright. Right, so now let's take a look on this side of the car. At the top we have this nice blue stripe with a reporting number, some excess height, and other information about the car. And at the bottom we got the brake wheel, the bars and the ladders and everything else. And here's what it looks like on this side of the car. It's pretty much the same again, it's just the other way around. Alright so here's what it looks like from the top view. You can see the door railing sticking out. Here's in the front. And here's what it looks like down underneath, which is kind of similar to the first car. So speaking of that, let's compare the two. So here I have them side by side, the Union Pacific and the Tropicana. Although they are both refrigerated box cars or reefers for short, they actually have a lot of differences. You can see Union Pacific is using a newer carrier air conditioner, while Tropicana is older, as well as the blue marking. It is different from the green here. Also Tropicana just has a white front, while the Union Pacific has a black front, which adds more contrast. Looks cooler in my opinion. Opinion. Also the way they laid out the printed elements are different so there is like a lot more things on this door versus Tropicana's door which is more plain and also the FRA striping is different. Another thing I noticed the Union Pacific stirrup step is painted black while the Tropicana ones are painted white. I also noticed that they only painted the black one on the outside part. The inside they just kept it white. You can see the ends of the car are painted differently as well. You can see the text arrangement is totally different. We got a blue stripe on this one, plain on the other one. And they even painted the box gray on the Union Pacific one. As for the roof, they're pretty much the same thing, just a ribbed, curved roof. And the bottom parts are the same as well, except for the trucks.
All right, so for my final thoughts, I think these Atlas Masters reefers, they are a pretty good addition to add to a modern model railroad. I got the Tropicana one for the famous orange juice train, which was the reason why I really wanted to get a reefer. And I got the Union Pacific one just so I didn't have just one car of it, but I actually was surprised on how different they were. Like the air conditioning is like totally a different design. You know, Union Pacific, they have a lot of these modern detailings. I really enjoy the blue elements, like the blue striping and the trucks with the tiny printed text. By the way, this rail car has a lot of tiny text I had to use my zoom lens just to show you guys what it actually says. I also like how they made one end with it black instead of all white just like the Tropicana one which is kind of plain looking does add more contrast. So I think my favorite is going to be the Union Pacific one but it's good to have the Tropicana one since that is still an iconic train. By the way if you guys know what this little box is I see it on a lot of rail cars let me know it down in the comment section. And if you're wondering where I got this from I got it from Tony's Train Exchange. I actually got this like last November so it's been a while. But overall, this is a pretty nicely designed reefer. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.